This is a, a sad night for the NYPD. They are mourning yet another person in the department. This, a detective who has fallen victim to coronavirus. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport has the story. We are hurting, we are crying, and we continue to fight. We simply have no other choice. A somber yet stoic NYPD Commissioner Dermot Shea on the death of 48-year-old NYPD detective Cedric Dixon, the first cop on the force to be killed by the coronavirus, a family man with a wife and children, described by police brass as kind-hearted and generous. He was known um, as the person that would do anything to help you. He is going to be so sorely missed. The 23-year NYPD veteran, who most recently worked out of the 32nd Precinct's detective squad in Harlem, where the flag on the roof is at half staff, died Saturday morning in a Bronx hospital. Police sources say he suffered from asthma and diabetes. This disease is particularly aggressive against people with vulnerabilities, and I'll leave it at that. Thus far, no word on how Dixon contracted the virus, which just recently killed two other NYPD employees, including Dennis Dixon, a custodian at one police plaza who's not related to the detective, and Giacomina Barr Brown, an administrative aide from the Bronx. We have lost three members of our family in a little over 48 hours. As I stand here, I cannot begin to describe what we are feeling. But he says the cops will dutifully continue their dangerous work today, tomorrow, always. And to the grieving family of Detective Dixon, a solemn promise from the president of the Detectives Endowment Association, Paul DiGiacomo. They are in our hearts and in our prayers, and they will never, ever be forgotten. We will be there to help them in any way that we can. In honor of the man who's being remembered as a gentle giant. In Manhattan, Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. The NYPD says 608 officers and uh, 88 civilian employees have been diagnosed with uh, positive testing results for the coronavirus.